Hi everybody, this is Sithi Readings and hi Pisces. Let's see what messages are coming through for you guys. What do we have for Pisces? I'm using a brand new deck for you guys and this deck is so beautiful. It's kind of expensive though, but I like it. It feels very luxurious. Let's see, what do we have for Pisces? What do we have for Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Pisces, in case this reading resonates with you, there will be a link in the description box to the extended to find out how's your person thinking, feeling about you, their next moves, outcome advice, love notes, guidance from spirit, and your future love. So do check it out. It will be linked underneath the video for you guys. Mm -hmm. Should I get your guided message first? Let's get your guided message, Pisces. What is the guided message for Pisces? Okay. Action number 17 is your guided message. And fourth, fourth chakra. Angel of strength. Okay. All right. Man, Pisces, your overall energy is the Four of Wands. I see you working on something, Pisces, and I like this energy. I like it. I see you a bit defensive, though. Queen of Cups, okay. <clears throat> yeah, making some money, Pisces. Your overall energy, wow. Ten of coins, nine of coins. Big on the money. And your advice here from the reading is the nine of wands. Bottom of the deck is three of wands with the six of coins um two of cups in the reverse four of cups there's a lot of emotional disappointment um that is attached to a love situation here pisces ten of cups reverse mm -hmm. there's emotional disappointment coming in from the past especially in regards to a connection. Okay, three of wands to the six of coins. I feel like you're looking forward to something here, Pisces. I also feel like Pisces, you're only going to be investing in relationships that serve you or at least, you know, where there is um, equal give and take from what I can see. I also feel like you're expecting something. Okay. How do I actually move it so you can see the cards better? You can actually see them though, right? Um, okay, starting off the reading, Pisces, you have the Four of Wands energy. Um, that talks about a lot, Pisces. Um, I see a sense of balance. I see a sense of um, celebration here in your reading, okay? I also feel like some of you are working on a partnership. I see you working on something, Pisces. Seven of coins and the devil in the reverse. I feel like, Pisces, you're considering a certain situation as a lost cause or something that you do not want to invest in because you have a lot of doubts about it. And you're getting over something from the past that no longer serves you. The good news is that you you get over it successfully. Whatever it is that was troubling you whatever it is that was emotionally it, it, it almost feels like a sense of emotional confinement um you'll get over it okay um page of swords reverse with the seven of wands upright i feel like pisces in the past 
you were into something, okay? You were into some connection, you were into a person. But I do feel like it was a very laid back approach that you had towards them, but you still were involved. Moving into the future, I see you having your guard up or I see you not getting involved in that anymore, okay? With the moon energy, lots of emotions, lots of feelings, but I feel like your intuition is guiding you somewhere, Pisces. We have the Queen of Cups and the Four of Coins here. Um, for a lot of you, you know what you deserve. You know that you bring lots of love, care, and nurture to the table, and that is what you expect from the other person. But we will see what this is about. For some of you, this is a significant uh, female influence here that, you know, there could be somebody like that in your life, or this could just be some feminine energy. We will see when we clarify. When it comes to your relationships, Pisces, you're holding on to something. We will see what is, what is it that you're holding on to. Um, your person's energy is the judgment, which will, I will also see what this is, but this looks like somebody from the past for you. Ten of coins, nine of coins, and the nine of wands. I see your focus being a lot on money and work, and I feel like when it comes to relationships, Pisces, you yourself are thinking that I want to be in a relationship or I want to be involved in a situation where there is emotional security, permanence, and growth for me. I don't want to get involved in a situation where... Um, you know, there's no sense of security. I feel like you're not about flings anymore, Pisces, which is good. Uh, and I feel like you weren't into flings anyway, but this is a more, uh, this is a more like, I wanna be in a relationship kind of an energy. The nine of wands is your advice. Be careful of who you're opening up to and what is it that you're holding on to as well. Now let's see, let's clarify things for Pisces. Let's clarify things for Pisces. What do we have for Pisces? Let me actually. Okay. What do we have for Pisces, please? with the wheel of fortune four of wands and the wheel of fortune pisces things are changing things are changing and for a lot of you this change is very unexpected as well okay this change is very unexpected a wish fulfillment pisces with the star okay tell me about The three of coins. Absolutely. This is strange because you have the seven of, co uh, seven of coins in your um, challenge. And then you have the seven of coins here in your energy. So I feel like some of you are struggling to really find if a certain relationship, a certain person is worth investing into or not, okay? Um, it looks like you want to work on this partnership. For some of you, it is money-related, work-related. And for a lot of you, you want to work on this, but you're just not sure if this is something that you want to indulge in, if this is something that you want to work towards. But it does look like there's something money related or a partnership related um, situation that's on your mind significantly. Okay. Tell me about the seven of coins, the four of pentacles. Absolutely. Your challenge is to let go of something, Pisces. Your challenge is to let go of your doubts. Some of you need to let go of something you've been waiting on as well. That's your challenge that you need to overcome. Um, moving into the future, your energy is the devil reverse. Let's see what is that about. Ten of Wands. Uh, High Priestess, I feel like your intuition has been screaming at you, Pisces, to let go of something that was very toxic. I think it is a very burdening energy, but moving into the future, I see you making that decision to let it go. I see you making that decision to end it, okay? So you'll get over it. Something toxic, something that you feel like is difficult for you to handle. I see you getting over it. But I also see that the road to that is through your intuition. 
it's leading you to that place through your intuition uh, moving into the past energy let's see five of pentacles to the page of swords reverse um pisces i feel like you were showing up with lots of love for somebody but this is almost like i'm gonna i'm gonna look for somebody on their social media just to see what they're up to and for i'm not saying you did it but it's like you know maybe somebody did it i don't know it's like when you know you're trying to spy on your ex's social media and you accidentally find something hurtful <laughs> okay you 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 look for something that hurt you basically you were looking for it and then you found it pisces okay and the thing is that your intuition was screaming at you to not do it but you did it anyway but it left you feeling very devastated and lonely so now you have your guard up, which is fine. We learn our lessons, which is fine. You know, you did you, but it, it was supposed to teach you a lesson, Pisces. Um, two of coins in the reverse fell on the floor for your future energy here, Pisces. Again, I feel like you'll get over it or you will stop making it a choice. Okay, this is something that you will stop considering even. Okay, let's see. Tell me about the moon. Seven of Oh, Pisces, what is confusing? oh man six of cups three of swords king of swords oh man pisces who is this person who has broken your heart somebody you had a very strong connection with but there we have the moon and the king of swords again there were fights there were there, there was drama if not fight then again i also feel like somebody was being cold towards you and again it broke it broke your heart seven of swords to the knight of wands there's a player who's on your mind there's somebody who has been very in and out of your life and I feel like you constantly think about this person or you constantly find yourself thinking about them even if you're not in communication with this person. Their energy is on your mind. And it could be because you're on their mind too. But let's see, what is it? You know, it's not like you're thinking about this person and wanting to be in a relationship with them. It's like whenever you are reminded of the situation, it hurts you and you feel like there's something that is still not revealed. I Devil energy, this is the same devil that you're getting over in the future because again, it has burdened you. So I feel like Pisces, you will open up a door to this energy again and then you end up leaving it behind because this is the same devil that in the future you're leave, deciding to leave it behind okay this is the same devil showing up with the night one somebody who just wants friends with benefits somebody who just wants a fling wants to have their cake and eat it too the thing is that you're insanely attracted to this person it's hard to let them go whoever this is and another thing is that you you're already deciding to let them go so i don't know how or what or what is it that is getting you entangled in this again for some of you it is the same is maybe not the same person but a new person that resembles your past person who was a player so be very careful of who you're dealing with pisces okay because again this is leading you to the realization that i don't want to be in this kind of a relationship i'm looking for a solid commitment or something that can grow and all I come across is a player maybe that's what's on your mind maybe you're not really you know obsessed with somebody but that's on your mind that why do I keep attracting people like this some of you even reconsider your relationship choices and you feel like it's better to be single um, but again something very tempting here coming up for you Pisces mm-hmm you know that you have a lot of love to give, okay? But you cannot let yourself get used, okay, with that love. Queen of Cups and the Eight of Cups walking away. Even though you have love for this person. Four of Coins. Hermit. I feel like Pisces, you're overthinking a lot these days. Even though I feel like your life is headed in a positive direction, I see you more in your head about things than actually things being a certain way, if you got my point. Oh, that is why now it makes sense. Your, um, your energy card or your guided message was action. So you need to be more action oriented for the next few days or for the next month, okay? Um, because to me it looks like you're overthinking over analyzing things and it's not coming from an obsessive energy it's coming from i'm trying to understand things kind of an energy you're trying to 
you know, find a reason for something, but you're driving yourself crazy trying to find a reason for things. Don't do that. It's not taking you anywhere, though. Six of Cups. It could be a pause situation. Your pause situation keeps coming up in your energy, and there's a lot of hurt, sadness, and betrayal attached to it. It could be because of Mercury retrograde that all of this is coming to the surface for you to let go, okay? Judgment, the Page of Swords, and the Knight of Swords. Okay, whoever you're dealing with, Pisces, this person is very curious what is up with you. Because I feel like the kind of love, the care, the nurture that you were bringing to the table for them, they definitely feel like, you know, you're not there anymore. And they've been thinking about you, Pisces. They've been thinking about you, but they also think that you're freeing yourself from this. Knight of Swords, there's a sense of urgency here. Wanting to communicate, wanting to talk, wanting to express. Uh, I also feel like there's somebody who's spying your social media or somebody who has their eyes on you, okay? Tell me about the Ten of Coins for Pisces. The strength, absolutely. It is almost like I'll wait for the right person kind of an energy, okay? I don't want to open up to the wrong person so that the right one can come in my life. That is what you're hoping for when it comes to your relationships. I also feel like for a lot of you, your focus is on your long-term stability. Um, things in your life that will take you forward, okay? Overall outcome is beautiful, Pisces. Three of Cups, Nine of Coins, Six of Swords, and the Nine of Cups. I see love coming in, but I also see a sense of independence. I see you taking care of yourself a lot as well. And with the Nine of Cups to the Six of Swords, I feel like... Um, a love offer is coming your way, Pisces. This person may, you know, you may communicate with them as a friend or they will show up like, hey, let's have a casual talk, but they do have feelings for you, emotions for you. Just be sure that you're not carrying your past into the future. That is the only problem that I see here with this reading because I feel like there's something unresolved coming from the past and again and again and again in your energy. Now, I know somebody will comment, no, I'm not like that. I'm over them. No, I'm not like that. Okay, well, good for you. I'm talking to the person who may be having issues. And there's a reason why something is being brought up here. Maybe it's something that needs your attention. Okay, nine of wands. Your advice, again, if your advice is the same as your outcome, Pisces, you're on the right path. It's, it's about putting attention back on yourself. Some of you need to take some time out for yourself as well, okay? You've been too much uh, into your work, into other people, pleasing them, buying things, blah, 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 you know, just loving, caring, saying yes when you want to say no. It's time to take your control back it's time to put that focus attention on yourself especially your money and your self-care um some of you need to have boundaries straight up this is strange because we have three of wands again at the bottom of this deck and when i closed your reading off your overall energy was the three of wands something is coming up pisces something you've been wanting but again uh, you need to be able to make space for it as well now let's see what the love oracles have for you, Pisces. And your extended will be linked underneath the video if you want to know more about the person you're connecting with. How are they thinking, feeling about you? Their next move, outcome of ice, love notes, guidance from spirit and your future love. So do check it out. It will be linked underneath the video for you guys. What do we have for Pisces? <clears throat> Photograph, look at this, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, making memories. Somebody's looking at your photos. I told you there's somebody who's buying your social media, somebody who wants to connect with you. Hand of cards. Take a chance, being strategic, kisses and lightning. Something is going to change for you uh, drastically. I also feel like somebody may ask you out on a date. Or I don't know, there's like this very lovey, carry energy here. Carry. <laughs> uh, caring and lovey energy. Lovey-dovey energy, okay? 
take a chance, risk being strategic, healthy choices and the runner. Some of you need to make more healthy choices when it comes to your relationships, point blank period, okay? Other things in your life are looking absolutely fine, but in that relationship department, something needs to be fixed. Let's see, what do we have with the action card that we have here? What comes up? Energizing effort and willingness to work. This card tells you that now is a time for more aggressive forward movement. Um, the galloping horses represent intentional and uh, concerted action directed to your goals. This card upright indicates that you are on the right track, but you but your determined efforts must increase. The white horse is inner action of spirit and thought, and the black is the outer work that needs to be done. So continue taking actions and trust your intuition in the time. You'll make you you break through and see the results you've been working so hard to create. That's about it, Pisces. Those were the messages that came up for you. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Check out the extended link below to find out how's your person thinking, feeling about you, their next moves, outcome wise, love notes, guidance from spirit and your future love. It will be linked underneath the video. Take care and bye-bye. Bye-bye.